All right, so over the weekend, we got a bunch of new stuff about the Model Y, including official dimensions for the Model Y. So we're gonna get into that, we're gonna compare it to a bunch of different cars, and we're gonna talk about what we're looking at for delivery status. But right off the bat, let's look at what the official dimensions are gonna be for the Model Y. So these came from Testmanian, which is a very popular blog, and they put up a lot of Tesla information, a lot of leaks and stuff, so it's not 100% verified, but there on their website, there's actually screenshots, and it looks like they're straight from the Tesla screen itself. It's the total Tesla design. It seems like they're definitely the official dimensions, and they fall right in line with what we've seen on the road when you compare it to a Model 3. It looks to be these exact dimensions, so it seems really likely that these are confirmed. So I'll say these dimensions in inches, but I'll put them on the screen in millimeters for everyone else who uses the metric system. So the length of the Model Y is going to be 187 inches long, and then the width is going to be 83.8 .8 inches wide, and it's going to be 64 inches tall. Now that width includes the side mirrors, so if we exclude the side mirrors altogether, you're going to get a measurement of 75.6 inches, and if you include the mirrors as they're folded, you're going to get 77.9 inches on the width for the Model Y. The curb weight of the Model Y, which is the weight with all fluids that it needs to operate, but with no cargo and no passengers, is at 4,416 pounds. Then the gross vehicle weight rating, which is essentially the heaviest this car can weigh with passengers and cargo, is 5,302 pounds. So first, let's compare this to the Model 3. So the Model 3, you're going to have a length of 184.8 inches. Now on the Model Y, it's going to be 187 inches long. So that is about 2.2 inches longer than the Model 3. So 2.2 inches longer on the Model Y is about maybe like that much. So it's not that much longer, but it probably adds to that overall cargo space in the trunk specifically. Then let's compare the width, including the side mirrors. So the Model 3 width, including the side mirrors, is 82.2 .2 inches. Now the Model Y with the mirrors is 83.8 .8 inches. So comparing those two, that means that the Model Y is about 1.6 inches wider than the Model 3. What's interesting about these numbers is when you compare the width of the two without the side mirrors, it's actually slightly different. It's a slightly different difference in width between the Model Y and the Model 3, which would mean that the mirrors are actually a different size. So we'll see if that is the case when the car comes out. And then here's the big one. The overall height of the Model 3 is 56.8 inches tall, and the Model Y is 64 inches tall. So that means that the Model Y is about 7.2 inches taller than the Model 3 is. Part of that 7.2 inches is probably the raised ground clearance on the Model Y, because based on the water bottle measurement that we have, it seems it should be about six and a half to seven inches, and the Model 3 is about five and a half inches. So about one to one and a half inches of that 7.2 inches taller height in the Model Y is probably the ground clearance. But still, if you account for the Model Y being one inch higher off the ground, that still means 6.2 inches taller on the overall car, which is gonna add up to a lot of space, and that's gonna please a lot of people. And then comparing the weight of the two, the Model Y is gonna be about 344 pounds heavier than the Model 3 is. So now let's compare the Model Y dimensions to a couple other popular crossovers in its price range. So first up, let's say the Model Y dimensions again. We got 187 inches long by 75.6 inches wide, and that's without the side mirrors, and then 64 inches tall. So if we take the Jaguar I-Pace, that one is going to be about 184.3 inches long by 74.6 inches wide without the side mirrors, and then 61.6 inches tall. So overall, compared to the I-Pace, the Model Y is going to be bigger in every measurement, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing for you. Next, let's compare the Model Y to the Mercedes EQC. So the EQC is about 187.4 inches long by 74.1 inches wide without the side mirrors, and then 63.9 inches tall. So it has the same exact height as the Model Y. So if you see a Mercedes EQC out there, you see how tall it is? That's how tall the Model Y is gonna be. Next, let's compare the upcoming Ford Mustang Mach-E to the Model Y. So the Ford Mustang Mach-E is gonna be about 186 inches long by 74 inches wide without those side mirrors, and then it's about 63 inches tall. So again, overall, the Model Y is bigger in every measurement than the Ford Mustang Mach-E, 
whether that's a good thing or a bad thing for you. Now let's compare the Model Y to the popular Toyota RAV4, which is a very popular crossover SUV that definitely leans heavier towards an SUV than the Model Y is going to. So the RAV4 is quite a bit shorter than the Model Y and it comes in at 180.9 inches, but then the width is 73 inches and the height is 67 inches. Now the 67 inches does say that it includes the antenna, so you're probably including a couple extra inches there. But the main difference here is just going to be the fact that the RAV4 kind of goes straight back. It slopes down a little bit, but the Model Y slopes down quite a bit at the back. Now let's compare the Model Y to the also very popular Honda CRV. The CRV is about 182 inches long by 73 inches wide and then it says 66 to 67 inches in height. Again, with the CRV, not quite as long as the Model Y, but it doesn't slope back quite as much in the back, which gives you a little bit more space. And then lastly, let's look at the very popular Subaru Outback. The Subaru Outback is 191 inches long by 73 inches wide, and then it's 66 inches tall. So comparing that to the Model Y, the Model Y is gonna be a little bit shorter in length, a little bit shorter in height, and then a little bit wider than the Subaru Outback is. We could do these comparisons all day long, but I think you get the point that this car is definitely fitting in with these other crossover vehicles. Maybe the fact that it slopes a little more in the back is gonna take away some of that space, but it's a lot bigger than people think it is. It's a lot bigger than the Model 3. Some other news we got this weekend about the Model Y is that the powered liftgate is, again, confirmed. It's been confirmed by a bunch of different people who saw the Model Y in person and said it's definitely a powered liftgate, we knew it was supposed to be a powered liftgate this whole time, but we were waiting for confirmation. And this time we got a photo of the actual button on the back of the trunk that's the powered liftgate button where you press it to go back down. You can check out that photo along with the other photos that give these dimensions on the Tesmanian article, which I'll link in the description below. And while you're clicking that link, also make sure to like this video if you find it useful, helps other people find it. Another feature that came with these same screenshots seems to be in the software of the Model Y, and that's off-road assist. And the official description says, quote, adjust traction control to optimize performance off-road. Definitely a great feature to have since crossovers are often very popular to go off-road with. So we'll see what this feature all entails, but it just seems like it optimizes the car to go off-road, which is great to hear. Now regarding the status of deliveries, we also heard about more deliveries over the weekend. It seems that on March 7th, Tesla sent out some more delivery confirmations, and this time it was over text message. The text message reads, quote, Congratulations, your Model Y is ready for delivery in March 2020. To take delivery as soon as possible, log into tesla.com slash tesla account and complete any remaining steps such as financing or trade-in. Please reply to this text with any questions and a Tesla advisor will follow up. Welcome to the Tesla family. And once again, I followed up with these people. It still seems like we have yet to see any Model Ys with the 19-inch Gemini wheels. I heard it from one person who said that they got the all-wheel drive with the 19-inch Gemini wheels and they got this confirmation. But when I asked them to verify that it's all-wheel drive and not performance, I still haven't heard back. So I'm assuming that they got the performance model because we know they've been confirming people who bought the performance with the 19-inch wheels and the 21 inch wheels and then all wheel drive specifically with those 20 inch induction wheels. Still pretty frustrating because some of these people who are receiving texts ordered like a month ago and they just happen to get the right package that Tesla is producing right now versus people who ordered on like the initial announcement date but stayed with the base wheels, the 19 inch Gemini wheels as they are now, they're still waiting on a text or email from Tesla to schedule their delivery. And I'm also one of those people waiting. I ordered in October, then I edited my order in January, so I'm not sure how that affects things, but I'm hoping to get it sometime soon. On top of this, we know that Tesla has issued a few VINs to people, which is the vehicle identification number. And once you have that number, that means you're tied to a specific car. So the car is definitely produced and it's definitely assigned to you because you're using that number with registration, insurance, financing, all that stuff. It's pretty fun to follow along with all these delivery updates and I really appreciate everyone who's reached out on Twitter or email to send me their updates and let me know what the status is and the text messages and everything. I really appreciate it, so keep that up. And as I mentioned in my previous videos, if you live anywhere close to Los Angeles, even within a few hours, I would love to come check out your Model Y if you're getting it in March and we can make a video together 
or I could just check it out. I can't wait to see this car. So that's everything new we heard about the Model Y this weekend. We got those official dimensions and it looks like it's actually from the Tesla software. So they seem to be fairly accurate and they also fall totally in line with the pictures we've seen of the Model Y next to different cars. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope you found it useful and make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already to stay up to date on everything Tesla and tech and more. And let me know in the comments below if you had to choose between a Model Y or a Model 3, which one would you get? I'm going Model Y, but it's going to be different for everyone. In the meantime, I'll keep you updated. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching. If you're actually buying a Tesla, you can use my referral link in the description below and that will get you a thousand free supercharger miles and me as well. Right now it doesn't actually qualify for the Model Y, but I really hope they're going to add that soon. So maybe by the time that you're watching this, the Model Y will be a part of that program. Thanks again. and I'll see you on the next one.